Alright, hey guys. This is my 1000 watt wind turbine. A catastrophic failure. As you can see, this is one of the rotors. Magnets separated and we found them all over the field along the radio line of the axis, rotational axis. Magnets were just spewed. There was only four left on the hub. And they were hanging in there with their magnetic teeth. The rest of them were spewed all over the place. And it totally destroyed that. Now the stator, I don't know if you guys can see this as well, but we have wires, it's been overheated. As you can see, the impressions. And we actually have separation here of the stator. So this is a brand new, be a new rebuild. And this is the rotor behind the, the stator, on the, the mass side, if you will. Separation, cracks, such. Anyway, and it looks to be that there is some separation between the steel and the epoxy. I used epoxy instead of fiberglass. Aeromarine epoxy, 312 or 321, I guess it was, or 312. And uh, anyway, that's, but this has been up for four years, so I can't really complain too bad. I mean, it did pretty good considering. Here about a week ago, we had winds come through, we were probably 80, 90 miles per hour, which is real unusual, and it took its toll. The blade. Here, this is a 12-foot blade. I'll try to back up, kind of get a perspective here. You know, compared to the pickup, it's a 12-footer. But there is impact marks on on the blade. Three here, and looking at it, that's the only impact marks that I see. Uh, paint separation from wear and tear, and being out in the elements. I look at that. But at any rate, I mean, it's just needs to be repaired and put back in service. But this guy is a total overhaul. The backing plates are 3 8 These are N42s, if I recall, half inch by two inch by one inch. And there's 12 per rotor. So, what happens, guys? This turbine was mounted up in the air. It was, uh, I think it was around four, say 50 feet, almost 50 feet, not quite 50, but close. And it did really well. Tell this. <laughs> so, that's my project amongst the other ones is to get this repaired. This time, this was made with uh, dual 16s, dual strands of 16 for winding. Yeah, it was a 24 volt system. And, uh, you know, it worked rather well. But it's just, you can't expect it to hold up to what it just, just went through. So this time, it'll be dual 14s. And uh, even though it'll be a 24 volt system, I'm going to build some extra insurance into it. If it, even if it means increasing the size or the thickness slightly, just but however it works out, I gotta work that part of it soon. So anyway, there we are, guys. Also, yeah, come think about it. One other thing I am going to do, and I have always hated this part of it, is this bearing that sits on the top of the mast. And all it is, it's a piece of copper and I machined the diameter, and then of course the weight of the turbine sits on that on the inside. That's coming out. There will be an actual bearing mounted in here. I'll probably set it up on dual Timkins. I'm going to machine a shaft, a hollow shaft, so the power line can come up through the center of that, and then there'll be a dual Timkins on it. So the sensitivity to tracking the wind will be more acute. Uh, many a time I went out and jiggled it a little bit to get it to track. So that will be a change, and that's something that you guys should consider. A lot of you are probably hardcore and say it works fine. Well, that's fine with, with me, but uh, I'm going to change mine to bearings because I know bearings will be a lot more efficient and uh, it'll work better. But at any rate, uh, I'll get this on YouTube and then let everybody know. Catch you later.